Good morning, everybody. It's Chris here from Screen Education with the four majors notice update for the 26th of August 2011. Hi, guys. Just going to be looking over the four majors this morning, starting with the euro uh, daily time frame in front of us. Let's have a look. We all know that we are in some sort of downtrend, and then form below our highs. <coughs> but you'll notice a price action just recently. We saw squeeze uh, high, forming high highs as we we got into this consolidation area here. Um, noticeably, on the right edge, edge, you can see a price action has failed to break above that 14,500 mark and close. And I mentioned that we do need to see that in order to see the CTC strategy or price for the euro gaining further strength against US dollar. Until such time as not, then we should still look for possible consolidation with an outlook of a downtrend to follow. Now we are getting higher swings, CTC is in our favour, but the more we go sideways, the more conviction that there is, is further resistance, which means that there's a possibility of a downside move to follow. So, got to see price closing well above uh, the 14,500 in a bullish up candle, something of that sort, uh, with a conviction, we want to see a conviction move. Uh, if it fails to do that, then we should see if there's a bearish engulfing, which would definitely give us conviction that we're going to be looking for further downside movement for this pair and we should look for an alternative, uh, alternative uh, support areas targets below um, yeah so at the moment now very indecisive and I think it'll probably end up being like this until we actually get a final word out of the um, the um, Jackson Hole meeting that's currently been held over the past two days. It uh, started yesterday, and I think today is the last day, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah, if you're not in this trade, then rather bide your time. Uh, if it's trading below yesterday's close, then we should be looking for a possible downside, but it needs to close higher than 14, 4,500 in order to still continue looking for bullish. Otherwise, we can see a break lower, and we should be looking for ultimately trades to the downside. The four hour chart is giving you an idea that 14,4500 is a strong prior resistance level. We've had a breakout, but uh, price failed to materialize. Another fake out for that one. And you can see, as I mentioned, higher swings depicting an up move, but we're now being squeezed between 14,4500 and these uptrend. CTC is still in our favor, but we're getting a lot of indecision at this area. So we want a clear, as I mentioned, a clear indication of upside movement like a nice bullish engulfing to give us indication that we're still looking for favorite for upside movement otherwise what we're going to do is see another hesitation at this area and the possible outcome would be a bearish scenario because we find a lot of resistance here if it wasn't so if there was more momentum this we should have seen a punch higher a lot earlier indicating further upside movement the more it hangs around here the less likely or the less conviction it has that we're going to see upside movement and we should be looking for a possible consolidation to the downside Euro is next. Sorry, sterling is next. Let's have a look at the daily here. We've been talking for a while that 16.45 was a strong support prior resistance level. Apologies. And we saw price actually trading above that area for quite some time. And I did mention that we had to see price actually bouncing on here. So breakout, consolidation, and then the continuation is what we were expecting. The upside movement was... Um, forming higher highs which is great however we needed to see 1645 being the support area so if we saw price pulling back below it not a problem but it had to close higher than 1645 because psychologically you can see there's a there is a resistance level here and the CTC is in our favor we didn't get that this price failed to materialize and close lower and we saw price even falling and it's now trading there thereabouts at the prior or this uptrend and um, what we want to see is possibly a bounce. If we don't get a bounce here and we see price trading lower, then we're going to see ultimately um, prior support and resistance levels to the downside. There's one, there's another level on here, right, roughly around the, the 16, 1500 mark. But you can see where price is trading at the moment. Uh, 1625 is the ultimate target. You can see a lot of support, resistance, support, resistance in the past at 16,500. So 16,500 likely um, target for this pair but you can see consolidation first thing this morning on Asian market saw upside movement uh, consolidating after this 
downside move and if you look at where price was where it bounced the high 100% is here 161.8 so it's considered around, roughly around the 1.68 FIP area uh, 165 Sorry, the 1625 mark is going to be a support, or should be a support, because you've got both the prior resistance and support level, as well as the trend line. So a break below 162500 would definitely confirm further downside movement for this pair, ultimately, as we see price changing, our sentiment changing. So as it stands now, if you continue to find support at the close, if you look at where we are now, that bounce happened on... The 200 period institutional moving average. I did mention that 16,500 is a prior strong support and resistance level. This is a four hour chart. You can see the upside move for this pair swinging higher, and you can see where price is right now as we speak bang, bang, testing it. If you fail to see support being found here, price fails to materialize, we could see a further low being formed. This morning on a four hour wait, you gotta wait for the four hour candle to break below that. But as it stands on, there's quite a lot of support here. You've got the upside resist uh, trend line as well as the resistance level at 16,500. Break below those two there would definitely confirm further downside moving for this pair. Notice the four hour is giving us a bearish uh, outlook. Uh, hourly just gone bullish. You can see the breakout consolidation breakout, and it's considered it's actually literally testing the. 50% retracement level from the breakout area. There we go. Bounce there. So needs to hang above 16,500. As I mentioned, to be classified it's still a consolidative bounce to the upside. Daily, we have 16,500 as a price support resistance level. So as long as it stays above that area, then we should be looking for possible consolidation with a potential upside move. Break below that, but then we're definitely going to be seeing further downside movement overall. Swiss franc, US dollar Swiss franc is the next one. You can see price is still consolidating, roughly around the 80 mark, still failing to break higher. A lot of resistance here, and the longer it remains that way, the more likely the outcome is that we're going to see price just fall over. It's working its way back to this major trend line, which is governing this trend. CTC is well extended to the downside. You can see the daily trend is very, very negative. So, failure to break above 80. And 8100 will fail to bring the CTC into parallelity. I.e., you got to have the blue arrow, blue bars, and the blue on the CTC. Fail to get that, then we shouldn't be looking for any longs. It's the same happened here. Did not act in our favour, and we saw price revert to the downside. So all we're looking for is for further consolidation with a possibility of a downside uh, move to come into play. So a break and close lower than. The 78.50 would definitely give us an idea that we should be looking for further downside movement as it's failed to break or it has broken this consolidation range. The last pair of the day is US dollar Japanese yen. Let's have a look. Uh, consolidation for the best part of the last two weeks. Failing to break below the 76. A lot of indecision, doji spinning tops, etc. And then we saw a bit of momentum creeping in. A bullish upside candle and yesterday's candle really breaking this little uh, range that we saw here at 77 and we've seen price heading higher however we've now seen price especially in the, the Asian session pull back and we're now looking at potentially uh, 77 being retested quite soon which happened to be price support area so uh, ceiling level so if price can stay above the 7700 then we should be looking for an ultimately uh, upside movement to occur. Uh, if you just look at the intervention, use it as a possible downtrend. You can see price is trading at that level now. The candle is blue as we speak. However, it's got to close first, so got to wait for the close of today's candle before we see any further indication. CTC is still well extended because we are still very much in, the, in an extended downtrend. The US dollar has, uh, well, is trading at an all-time low against the yen. Uh, we are seeing a corrective period as we speak now. As there's word mentioned that the US um, is going through a almost, we're starting to see some momentum, um, especially at the underlying, that we're going to get some, you know, the cogs are moving slightly. Um, be, take note that we're also uh, having these meetings, uh, second day of the Jackson Hole, 
It's a possum that's um, a meeting out in Jackson Hole, which is literally um, a get together by a large uh, number of uh, central bank finance ministers, academics uh, from around the world. And they're going to be just pretty much putting their heads together to try and come up with some sort of, um, well, come up with a plan for the next move. Um, word out is that there could be quantitative easing part three and four to come from Bernanke. Um, he's got a lot, of, lot to do at the moment now, trying to convince uh, the US um, that they're going to try and stem this downside movement that we're seeing in the US dollar. Plus, we also got... Uh, the, the more that we, the more negativity comes out of Europe, it's obviously going to also factor quite heavily on the U.S. market. So, Bernanke's you have to, will have to come up with something really unique uh, to try and see if you can um, see them through this really uh, bad uh, time. So, it'll be interesting to see what the final outcome is on the the Jackson Hole meetings. So, if you aren't in this trade, if you aren't in Swiss franc, rather stand aside and wait for a definite confirmation. Uh, and wait for the news and then what we'll do is we'll trade that so that's pretty much it for today guys um hope you have a fantastic trading day and better weekend uh enjoy your weekend with family and friends and we'll see you for um, further trading on monday so take care keep your trading simple follow up with great money management rules and most importantly trade serenely <laughs>